Something we do gotta discuss though is these right here. These are my noise canceling headphones from Sony, as you can see. I believe that every OTR truck driver should have one of these, whether you're solo or team, I think they could really benefit you. Uh, depending on what it is that you do or how you feel about certain things. Some people like speakers. I prefer keeping the noise down, keeping things more private anyway. But I really do think that these things can help. Uh, but we're gonna talk about these later. You guys, it is an absolutely beautiful day outside, man. I got some things I need to do. I need to go to Walmart, and grab a couple of things before I go back to work because I'm going back next week. Of course, I need to go to Best Buy. You guys know I'm always at some sort of technology store. Almost any time I walk into one, I have to spend money, but I know exactly what it is I'm looking for. Hopefully they have what I need because the last time I went over there, they sold out of what it is that I wanted and they're still sold out, but I need a couple of other things too. So we're gonna see what happened. I'm probably gonna get out of here in about 15 minutes. I'm waiting on a ride. <laughs> I don't have my car right now, so make things work the best way you can. I might go chill out with my nephew for a couple of hours. Been at home most of the week, so it's about time to get out. Look how beautiful it is out here, man. Focus, focus. Ain't too hot, ain't too cold either. You know, Texas don't got the humidity like some of the other states do. You know, I'm from Georgia, and they don't call it Hotlanta for nothing. But we gonna see what happens. I just hate waiting around, man. <laughs> But what are you gonna do? We gonna get it done anyway. Thank you, this is the one. Yeah, I might just roll with that. You might sleep. Why are you acting shy? Oh, somebody's sleepy. You <laughs> just took a nap, right? You got six granddaughters. That make you smile. <laughs> <laughs> you guys doing all right? Yes, yeah. sir. I was trying to find a, a tripod, actually. Mm -hmm. um, my phone. Nah, for my phone. I was looking at this one, yeah. but I saw one. It was kind of like, it was more flexible. I guess you could put this it that one way. Ah, get up. Did you fall? <laughs> Did you fall? Oh my goodness. Putting on a show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. The Gorilla Grips. So this is gonna be very useful. Back to these guys right here. These are my Sony WH-1000XM3s, or Mark III, whatever you wanna say. I think that every truck driver needs to have noise-canceling headphones. I don't care what anybody says, right? They're expensive, but these right here, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. But what do I like about these? First off, this case. It's a nice hard shell case. Uh, I did look at the Beats Studio 3s. Uh, what I didn't like about those, one, the sound. I think they sound terrible, in my opinion. Two, they're uncomfortable. And three, the case is more like a, it's kind of like a ball. Whereas this one is more flat, so it fits perfectly fine in my bag. It's very sleek. Uh, it looks kind of elegant, and I like that type of thing. The headphones themselves fold up flat in here instead of, you know, like the regular ball shape most of them do. These kind of fold up like this, and they charge with USB Type-C, too. And these things look good. They have kind of like an executive appearance to them. And I like classier things. It has like the rose gold accents. You can't see it very well because the light in here is terrible. Uh, but it's got the rose gold accents. Those two little ovals on the side, those are the microphones. But they also integrate one of my favorite features about them, which is the pressure sensors. That's what they're called. I think it might be a barometer or something. Some, somebody let me know. But basically, when you're driving a truck, you might end up going like through mountain. You're going up and down mountains. You're kind of all over the place, right? So elevation changes. And when the elevation changes, pressure levels change. One of the main characteristics about a lot of noise canceling headphones is the cabin pressure. When you put them on, they're kind of pressing against your eardrums and it can be very uncomfortable. It gives some people headaches. I've never had an issue with it, but it's also not the most comfortable sensation. With these, when you go up, and down in altitude or whatever, right? Or even if you walk into a room and the pressure levels are high. What these are gonna do is sense the level of pressure outside in your environment. And it's gonna equalize the pressure inside these ear cups right here. So you don't get the same discomfort. These things, out of all the noise canceling headphones I've tried, I've tried the studios, 
Uh, I owned the Studio 2s for a little bit. I had the Audio-Technica ATH700BTs. I actually passed those down to my sister because, I mean, she's in college and and she is good for that type of environment as well. But out of all of the ones I've tried, these not only are the most comfortable, they sound the best, they look the best, they're just all around, they're the most ergonomic. I wouldn't say that they're as comfortable as say the Bose QC35s, but they're comfortable enough for what it is that I do. Put them on, hair is kind of in the way. They look nice. If I turn them on, I can't really hear anything. It, it kind of dampens the noise down, but I mean, even then, these things have the best noise canceling I've ever heard, like hands down. Nothing really comes close to these things. Uh, they have neodymium drivers in them. If you've ever seen a subwoofer and how it moves back and forth and stuff like that, these kind of do the same thing on a smaller scale. Uh, sound stage is very wide. The bass hits very hard, but it isn't to a level where it drowns out the rest of the music. So you can still hear a lot of the detail that's left over. These by no means are audiophile headphones or anything like that. But on a consumer level, I don't think you can beat these, especially if you are driving teams like I am right now. Uh, you're in a sleeper and the truck is moving and you have the engine noise and you hear the whining of the tires and you hear the wind going past everything. And you might hear like a, like a car might hit their horn, a truck might hit the horn. Or, you know, you get into an environment and it's just like you're in a city, people talking and there's chatter and you can hear all kinds of crazy nonsense. These things black out all of that. As I said before, I have never, ever heard a pair of ANC headphones that sound as good as these things. I freaking love these things. Uh, I highly recommend them to pretty much anyone that might be in the market. Or even if you weren't thinking about it, go to a, a Best Buy, Fry's Electronics or something. And try them on. Try the Bose 700s, the QC35s. Try all that stuff. Because these might not fit everybody. They fit me. And that's why I'm telling you guys about them. Because I, I freaking love these things. But I honestly think being OTR, these things are a lifesaver. You could be in a truck stop waiting on a load or you at the shipper and you hearing them behind loading and unloading the truck or whatever. These drown out everything, man. It's a lot more comfortable. I mean, some people do like having the big speakers and stuff like that and shaking the whole area around them, playing that nice and loud and watching movies. And I mean, I don't blame you guys whatsoever. That's your gig. But, you know, to avoid disturbing other people and being disturbed yourself, I recommend these things. 100%. Uh, the only detractor from them I could see would probably be touch controls can be a little bit oversensitive because you use this ear cup right here, double tap to pause and play, swipe up and down for uh, volume up and down, obviously forward and backward to skip and rewind, stuff like that. Sometimes it can be a little bit sensitive. Uh, they do have this one feature where if I'm wearing them, listening to music or something, and I see somebody tries to talk to me, I could put my palm over the right ear cup and it'll drop the volume and it'll turn on what's called ambient mode. I'll get to that in a second. But turn on ambient mode so I can hear what somebody is saying to me. You know, if you need to hear like an announcement or something like that, you get pulled into a scale. I don't know why you'd be wearing these things while you're driving, but <laughs> pulled in and they make an announcement or something like that, you got to pull in. You can hear that. One of the cooler features about this, aside from the A and C, is the ambient mode, right? And what ambient mode does, it basically kind of makes these things work like a pair of open back headphones. So I can wear them, noise canceling or whatever, but let's just say you go for a walk and you need to be more aware of your surroundings. Hit this button right here, it'll say ambient sound control. Then it'll start pumping in sounds from around you. So not only can you hear your music or your podcast or your movie or whatever, but you can also hear what's going on. So if somebody tries to talk to you, if a car is driving up on you, or you somebody running up on you, God forbid, you can hear that. See, I'm one of those people that don't really like when random people come up and just start making random conversation with me for no reason. I wore these things to Walmart, turned on the ambient mode, listening to music. I'm perfectly aware of my surroundings. I see everything. I hear everything but nobody's trying to talk to me because the headphones tell them not to. I can hear you, but you're not gonna talk to me, right? So I like these things quite a bit for that. 
Um, they do I have an equalizer. I think out of all of the ANC headphones that I've looked at, I think these are the only ones that have an equalizer on them where you can tune the sound to your taste. Uh, if you like a brighter sound signature, you can do that. If you like something more bass heavy, if you like something more flat, you can have it the way that you want it to be. Bose NC700s, they don't have that. QC35s don't. His Bangin' Olufsen uh, PX7, or is that the Bowers and Wilkins? Whatever, I looked at all of them. These are the only ones that have that feature, and none of those are anywhere near as comfortable as these things are, except the Bose, but they're kind of known for that type of thing. Sony, you know, they're, <laughs> they've been doing this for a couple of years. These are the latest model right here. Um, but for all that you get out of these things, you're definitely paying for that. Now, I got these on sale. I only paid $300, but it's very rare that the XM3s go on sale. Sometimes you might catch them for 280, more often than not 300 when they do go on sale, which is damn near never. I just so happen to get lucky going in the Best Buy and seeing them for that price. But these things retail for 350 bucks plus tax. So you're gonna end up paying right around $400 for these things. Unless your state doesn't have sales tax, of course, but 350. Do I think they're worth it? For the price and what you get out of them and you know for the reasons that i got them i think they're worth it but not everybody's gonna feel the same way i just wanted to share these things with you guys maybe somebody will want to pick up a pair but i highly highly vouch for these things but that's gonna be it for this video like i always say be happy be blessed and the number one thing don't be afraid to make drastic changes in your life.